Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Fire and Thunder Trains from Lupin Ranger and Pato Ranger. This re review, of course, you can tell by the title, is also going to include the review for the mecha portion of Lupin X's stuff, meaning the X Emperor, Slash, and Gunner, as well as the big combo for the... for almost everyone, except for the auxiliaries. Um, so the first part, we're gonna go over these guys real quick, what they do in the changer, what they do by themselves. Spoiler alert, not a lot. Then we'll go over the X combinations and then the big combo at the end. So let's go ahead and jump right in with these guys though. Let's do Thunder first, because I said so. Um, I actually do like the designs of both of these guys a little bit more than uh, some of the parts of the main, like, Lupin X stuff. Like, I just think this one has a little more personality. The gold paint, or paint, plastic is basically the same color as the, um, the regular train, but I just think, like, the light blue kind of bouncing off of it just gives a little bit more personality. It's kind of got, like, an extreme shovel weapon. That's its attack mode. Vicious. And it can also become a foot, which we'll see in a minute. But, yeah. Oh, no. Thanks a lot. Spoiler alert. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it does on its own. And then we will put it in the versus changer now, shall we? Let's go for the silver train. Again, I think I like this one a little bit better than the standard one. I do prefer the silver train on the other ones as well, but I think just the nice kind of darkish red paint here. Like, it's kind of a darker red, but it's like, I guess a ruby red? I don't know, but it shines a little bit. I think it looks nice. Um, its attack mode is basically, you know, this. is like, I'm attacking you, and it can also become a foot and, you know, roll and do all that amazing stuff that the individual ones can do. I mean, I don't even know why you want to see the mecha combination when you can just see this. All right, change your time. This does nothing. Doesn't move. Just FYI. There's Toby again. Alright, so there you have that. Okay, now real quick just to show, you can combine these, well obviously, with the regular trains, but you can sort of create a more like streamlined, like this is all Silver's transformation there. So look, you get that. Now it really looks like a double-sided den liner. So you got that going on. And then for gold, I love gold! Or slightly dull, bronze, 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 gold. I, I like totally messed up my joke there. But yeah, so you can do that. And that's like kind of, you know, flush with everything. But in order to transform them, you're actually going to want to do the opposite of this. So it's opposite day, everyone. So just shift this around like that. Because otherwise it's going to be weird when you're doing the transformation. Okay, I think we can zoom out a little bit more. We're going to kind of need to. So yeah, you're going to want to do the opposite ones for the transformation. It seems kind of, not weird, but I mean, I guess it does kind of seem weird because you would think. But I guess because it's crossing together. So basically you're going to do this and it's going to snap in right there. And you create a X? What? Okay, now it's pretty simple to transform it. We're going to do the loop in mode, mode first because I said so for some reason. So these are going to become feet again. You're going to want to pull this down so that this can go up like that. Um, there's, like, there's a mode for actually both of those where like one of the feet is hindered by needing to do something. So that's going to stay. This one will stay a little bit more stable on its own for a minute. Um, and then this, these bits are going to come down 
and we're going to like, oh, we're not going to pop that out. That's not what we're going to do. And we're going to like fold out some little stuff here in a minute. But um, for now, we're just going to get the main stuff done. And then on the back, actually, you're probably wondering where the headpiece of the, uh, the main gold train was. And it's actually right here, so we're going to put it in the silver mode, it's already there. And these little pegs here are going to go right here. And this actually, believe it or not, stabilizes it, because it's holding the two halves together, so it'll help create a more stable, like, leg stance. It's actually more beneficial, or it's just more noticeable in the gunner formation, in my opinion. It's just a little top heavier, which makes right. sense. Um, but it's going to help you either way. And obviously, you're going to need the helmet. Um, and then just twist that like so. And then these bits here... I think these are supposed to go down, I'm just an idiot. But then mainly these I almost forgot about, right here. All right, and there you have X Emperor Slash Mode, which is my personal favorite of the two designs. I just really like the helmet, I think it looks pretty cool. I think of all the different modes that um, these have with like the individual Zords or Mecha and the, the Changer and stuff, I think it succeeds the most in like the robo modes, I think. I just think it looks pretty cool. I really dig it, especially like in the show. It's almost always the case where it's gonna look better in the show, at least somewhat to you. And that's the case here. This is a, I was taking like thumbnail pictures before this. I'm like, oh, that angle is not gonna work. So this is gonna be the better angle for you. And you just kind of adjust that a little bit so it's a little more even. But yeah, I, I don't think it translates as well. I don't think it looks too bad actually. Like we're sitting there, that's not bad, right? Sit on the shelf. That looks pretty cool. I still dig it. I, the only thing that really bothers me is like this having this whole extra stuff. Like even if you're just doing the basic one, this will be flipped forward. So it's not too bad, but I just kind of wish that it was just the head. Um, I, I don't, can't remember if it's quite like that in the show. I don't think it is, but if not, I mean, if it is, it's not as noticeable. But I just kind of wish maybe you could like plop that off and just have that. That's my only real major complaint for this mode. But yeah, it, it looks fine though. Fine-ish. It's fun to transform. Okay, so now basically we're just gonna flip this guy around. So take this piece off because we're just gonna switch it and then shkabeef and then like that and you can straighten these out like that. We'll take these in for, for now and then hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of we're gonna be setting this aside but for now see these are gonna become the legs now so like that these ones here too, and you need those out in order to do this, so both of them are kind of gatekeeped by something like that. Now I'm going to have to hold this in place here. So these are going to come down just like the other ones did a few seconds ago. Giant arms here. This is when he gets like all bulked out, I guess. He goes to the gym and his arms become bigger trains. So this one, like I said, is going to be a little more beneficial for you to do the, um, the, um, Helmet, there we go. What is this thing called? The helmet here because it's going to stabilize it a lot better here. And this one's a little top heavier because we're using the heavier trains. So even though I usually like to save the putting the helmet on or whatever until the end, just because I'm nerdy like that, like in this case, I'm like, I really had no choice because it will not stay very well, especially when I'm trying to do a review and I don't want stuff falling over when I'm trying to film a review for you all. Okay, and then now just pull this out. Wait, little button, don't forget the button. And you'll get little noises just like with the changer. Obviously, because it is the changer. And there you have it in its gunner mode. Oh, almost forgot, I gotta put these little these little doohickeys out, very important. But yeah, there you have gunner mode. Oddly enough, even though this one has grown on me, but I, but I still do prefer slasher, this one I think looks actually a little bit better for some reason. I think it's because the head is just the head and it doesn't have like a head extra tumor behind it. And this definitely inspires some jokes, but you know, setting that aside, I just think this one looks a little bit better overall in terms of being a little more accurate, a little less awkward. At least in certain ways, it's less awkward. But it doesn't look half bad. It's just that part that's kind of awkward. Oh, I didn't mean to touch it. Um, but like, you know, just the head just being more normal, like it doesn't have extra parts from the other one really sticking up. I mean, it is a little bit cumbersome, and you can see some of the, the sort of design mechanisms of it and whatnot, but... You know, with silvers, you can just see Red's head behind it, which just kind of bothers me sometimes. Um, but yeah, so this one looks pretty good like this. I kind of liked putting these kind of down. It kind of made, it looks a little funny, but I also thought it looked kind of like, like he's in a gorilla mode or like he's just like in a super like angry caveman mode. I don't think it looks better, but I just thought it was interesting. Like that too, he just looks like, he looks kind of like he's doing a version of 
like Coda stance or something. But yeah, so there's that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for these modes. I'm gonna reiterate a lot of this during the final verdict, but I'll just say a little bit really quickly in case no one wants, or some people don't wanna stick around, or no one wants to stick around for the, the final combo. But I'll say that this thing is a lot of fun to, to like mess around with. It's fun to do the transformations in the changer mode, fun to do the different transformations for the, the Megazord. It's just kind of, just fun. I, I appreciate the creativity behind it. It's just fun to transform, but just like look-wise, it's not 100%. I don't think the two mecha modes look bad, but I just feel overall, both in terms of the design itself, they could be a little bit better. I, as I mentioned in the changer review, it just feels so unfinished and like they were kind of going for the function over the look and I wish they had spent more time on the design to make it like function in this cool way where you have two Megazord modes and the changer mode, but make it look less like the innards of a Megazord rather than a Megazord. Uh, but, but, and also just the toy quality. It's not like it's bad, it looks fine, but I just wish it looked a little bit better. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to do the everyone combination. Almost forgot to show this, but of course you can put them on Lupin Kaiser or Pat Kaiser, like right now, I have it in Lupin Kaiser mode, but you can, you know, obviously do a Pat Kaiser, but like, you know, that's both of them on there. You can also do um, both silver themed ones if you want, just like, you know, like that, or you can do both gold themed ones, insert another I love gold joke. I mean, it's neat that you can do that, of course, because it does add a little bit more playability and variety, but I really don't think any of the modes look too thrilling. Is it that one or that one? But yeah, there's just nothing too thrilling about it. All right, now on to the big combo for real. Okay, so to start the big combo, we're basically just gonna take the Pat Striker, like main robo mode as the base. Um, you're gonna actually want to have it in the the red knee mode. That's the specific term And the only other thing you're gonna want to do to prepare it is pop these out because the arms are gonna use little peg holes and stuff here and not these Traditional little knobbies. That's the technical term. So basically we're gonna pull a classic here You're gonna be doing the classic ranger slippers So take this pit this bit this bit here and then this bit here and they're gonna become the ranger slippers There's two little uh, like panels that lift up and these are going to peg in right on the sides here and then before you do that, actually, well, after you do it, but then before. So you know how it is. Timey-wimey. There you go. So there's its little panel. You're actually going to want to take some of the trigger machines and set them on the side here. Basically, you're going to want to extend their trigger gimmick so that you can snap the wheels in here on the two pegs. So there you go. Now you have a super ultra slipper. Where is the other one? Wait for it. Boom. There we go. Okay. It actually fell on the floor. I had it set on the side. I didn't know it fell. Extend that out too, otherwise people yell at me. And then snap it on here. And then we're just going to set it on top, or on top here. I'm going to just do it off camera, cut to it, because it's kind of a pain to do in general, so that it's stable and even more when you're trying to do it around camera like this. Okay, so there you go. You can see what we're doing there. Basically, super slippers. I just didn't want to have to deal with it, you know, coming apart and then me getting mad and then you getting mad. Probably not as mad as me. Okay. Then you're going to take the full gold and silver trains, this is obviously just the silver one, and we're going to set them on the side. Basically, you kind of have them so you'll see these little pegs here and you kind of have them and they'll be able to bend a little bit and stuff like that, but they're going to go right behind back here, so... Actually, you know what? I almost completely forgot. You're going to want to do, or at least I'd recommend doing gold first, because... So for gold here, you're going to want to have it so that this bit is facing this way here. But you're going to want to have this so that, make sure you press the button, and you're going to have, oh no, damn it, that's the wrong one. The button's for this one. I always think the button's for this. But you're going to want to have it like that because this is going to connect so that it secures it. So like, you know, we're going to put this on the side here. Okay, and so you can kind of see like that's resting. It is a little bit top heavy, but this is going to snap in and secure so that it kind of just makes it, you know, well, more okay. stable. Again, I just jump cut it off camera because I just had to finagle it weird and you didn't need to see me getting mad. So, now take this piece here, which was the helmet for all of them, and fold it in this way with this peg out and this peg up here. And you'll see the peg here, just peg everywhere. That sounded, nope. And snap it on here, just, this is one of those ones, be careful to not press down too hard and then the whole thing collapses. And now take the red dial fighter and it's going to snap right on here like show. There we go. That's another one you want to just be careful not to uh, press too hard. And then up here, you'll have these two. Make sure you fold them out. I already took the liberty, but just fold them out so that they're sticking well out. And you're basically just going to put the Lupin Kaiser arms on as if you were doing Lupin Kaiser. Like, 
he has he, that's all folks. They have, these haven't even changed formation from when I had them on, really. You can kind of maybe point them in a different way if you want, but I'm just gonna leave them like that. And then the last touch is placing Patra and Ichigo's right up here like a giant hat, like just a giant redonkulous hat. I think you can have it either way if you want, um, extended or not, it doesn't look that different. But anyway, there we have our giant cluster, or at least cluster 1.0. It is definitely a miraculous cluster. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda dig it. Um, and you can sort of customize the arms a little bit to be a little bit more out, which actually I think is really nice. It kind of makes it seem more articulated, which I guess it is, but you know what I mean. Like, usually these robots stand at attention so often, it's nice to see one be a little bit, like, I don't know, have a little personality with that. I think it's really neat. D don't get me wrong, this thing is clunky. I mean, you got giant feet, you're gonna trip people with this. You have a giant police car hat. It's definitely one of those mess ones that clearly wasn't like a marvel of engineering, but I still kind of dig it, to be honest. I think it's got some cool parts. Mainly, I'm a little bit biased with these because I'm just kind of a fan of the clusters in general because it gives a good way to store a lot of mecha in one formation for shelf displays. Unfortunately, of course, this isn't everybody. You're leaving out all the auxiliaries. I mean, I'm sure you can fit them in in like fan-made combos, but I'm just talking about officially, like, so you just have all the main ones. But still, it's a pretty solid combo if you're into the, the clusters. But anyway, final verdict. Uh, poor, poor fire and thunder down here. This was your review and you got overtaken by much bigger things. As far as these guys go, they're fine little trains. If you're already buying the exchanger, definitely pick them up um, to, you know, be able to do more things. That's my verdict for this. Um, I kind of already talked about my overall thoughts on this. I think that this whole setup of uh, Patron and Lupin X's stuff is a lot of fun to do the combinations with. And if you already have the other collection stuff, you have even more to do it with, but I, I definitely think it's flawed design-wise in terms of, I think it could have been like prettier looking and, and also have the functionality, but it is fun to uh, to do all the combos, especially if you own a uh, good striker and the Lupin Pato stuff. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get all my videos in your notification box. Anyway, Dawson Ryder, signing out.